To better Connecticut, I'm Kara Sundlin. Not a payday, but it is Friday, which is a good thing. Well, it depends. It's payday for some people. Payday for some people, not for me, though. So, you know, I just count, I base it on what's happening in my life. <laughs> but yeah, every other Friday we get paid here, and today's oh. not one of those Fridays. So yeah. it's a little disappointing, but nonetheless, it is Friday. We're going into Valentine's Day weekend, the loneliest day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about it's all about love. It's all about love. It doesn't have to be romantic. Love it could be love of love of friendship. Love of friendship. Love of your co-host. The love of co-host. We were just singing. We You're were. the meaning in my life. You're the meaning in my life. You're, You're the inspiration. inspiration. All right, thank you. <laughs> all right, so but uh, it kicks it off actually today is uh, is. National Freedom to Marry Day. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's the unofficial holiday to support same-sex marriage. It's been in place since 1999. Isn't that cool? Very yeah, cool. a lot of places in the world still. Um, I mean, being gay is not right. I mean, could you imagine even the, the thought of getting married in some of these countries across the world? And um, right here in Connecticut, it is legal. And people had I have been doing it for years, and um, God, God bless everybody. I, I've never been married. I, maybe, I, maybe someday I will be. <laughs> You never know. Just like you're going to maybe have a baby someday. Maybe you said. someday I'll have a baby. If someone drops you on your doorstep. Someone drops it right on my doorstep. That's I'll, your qualification. I'll take it right in. Uh, maybe a dog would be okay. Oh, yeah? I had a Valentine's Day. Um, there's puppy love going on. These dogs actually got married in a ceremony at Greenville County Animal Care. Oh, I love when they do this. Sassy and Sparrow. Oh, are they rescues? Yeah, well, they're, I think so. I think so. They're, they're heart, they're heartworm pups. They're heartworm pups. They both survived having heartworm, which is a killer. Uh, especially if it's not treated. So and they do come from a shelter, so I think, oh, oh look how happy look they are. Oh, them. She's a beautiful bride. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I hope that they get adopted together if they're up for adoption. I hope they go together because now that they're, what man, what God has joined together, let no man. <laughs> look at them eating their cake, Kara. They oh got doggy cakes. Oh my, that is so cute. Isn't that adorable? And the shelter, this particular shelter, has been waiving adoption fees all week. In honor of the uh, wedding, which yeah. I think is nice. So, you know, if you need a little love in your life, maybe you want to think about an, a special pet who needs some love. I think that's a great idea. All right, so how about the zookeepers yeah, in London? The little monkey. The little is monkey. It, is it going to be another thing I want to collect? <laughs> Oh my Aww. God, he's got like seven, uh, he's the head of the pack and uh, he's got like seven that he's, or nine that he's taking care of. Well, they're all, they've all gotten these heart themed bags for Valentine's Day. Look all the monkeys uh, get their little, oh, look, look at Look, and they're like, no, I want mine. No, you take yours. Every, I'll take mine. Everyone gets one. But Everybody they, gets they one. They just all want more. Oh, look, the, look. Look at how adorable. This is so cute, I want a monkey. No, you don't want a monkey, Kara. I do. I've wanted a monkey since I was in third grade. Now, the uh, London Zoo, they've been uh, having a lot of financial trouble. So they're asking people to go on the website. And not that you're going to do that necessarily here in the United States. But, you know, you, you never know. People might want to give money to hey, the London Zoo. If you want to help monkeys and you want to help wanna monkeys help and get them their Animals treats. all over the world. Absolutely. That's really cute. So that's really cute. All right. Now, if you really are, have some anger and you want to vent. Um, again, more anger, Kara. Well, you know, you have to get it out in a productive way. Anger is a normal human emotion, but how do we channel it? I, how about you name your ex after a cockroach after your ex? A cockroach after, it's a screaming Madagascar, what is it? A Madagascar hissing cockroach. <laughs> It's at uh, the South Carolina Zoo. They did this at the Children's Museum in West Hartford. Where I remember that. You were allowed to name a cockroach oh, after your ex. Oh, look at these things. Ooh. Ooh. So $15, oh. you are, you're, the roach gets your ex's name, and they announce the name on Facebook, so it can just help make you feel better. And they're, they're raising some money, which is good news. So they're going to, and you get a certificate, too. If you want a roach name, you're going to get it. You have to call the zoo by Friday, though, to make sure, which is today. So give them a call. Which South Carolina Zoo? And then what do you do? Send the ex the card that you name the cockroach? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There really are some know. really interesting Valentine's Day cards that are a sign of the pandemic. Do you know what the judge said yesterday to Britney Spears? What? Ooh, I'm doing it again. I am denying you your money. <laughs> Yes, Isn't that she the Oops, I Did It Again song? Oops, I Did It Again, yes. Oops, I Did It Again. Uh, but she lost the legal fight she so did, far. But... Over, you know, there's, there's a lot of, she's been in the news a lot because New York Times did a whole documentary series on her. And should her father be in charge of, uh, as the conservator of her $60 million estate? $60 she wants to have dollars. him removed. She has a lot of bad blood with her dad. Yes. But he claims that all these people would take advantage of right. her. And the judge ruled that he stays for now. Right. Does he have her best interest at heart, though? That's, that's the question. She's like, I can handle it on my own. He says no. So March 17th is the next hearing. Mm. 
Uh, Brittany's lawyers are going to be able to submit another petition for her father's removal at that hearing. But can we go back to the Valentine's Day cards? Sure. I think it's just kind of funny, some of the cards that they have out there. Like, uh, how about um, for the pandemic that I'm to will you be my quarantine? And we're, then we're, they have another one hey, about let, let's go isodate. Let's, uh, let's isodate together. I'm bored of lockdown, but I'm never bored of you, Kara. Our love can never be locked down. Look What's at that. that? <laughs> Valentine's Day, six feet apart. That's uh, funny. That's Will you be fun. my quarantine? Oh, that's so sweet. And oh, also, we that. just want to shout out because um, maybe you saw the sad news out of Waterbury. Yeah. But um, especially for our producer, Jamie Callie, who went to Sacred, Sacred Heart. Heart High School. We actually remember we went there when she got an award. Yeah. Yeah. She got so the, they announced suddenly that they're going to shut the school down. But a bunch of alumni are pretty upset about this and they're trying to raise money and they're banding together. So we wish them a lot of luck. But a lot of people sad that their high school is on the chopping block. Well, they block. said it's because of declining enrollment. So we're going to have to wait and see what's going on. But uh, Jamie is she's I, I wonder if Jamie's spearheading this event or just jumping on jumping on to help. But nonetheless, they're going to try and get some money and uh, maybe keep the school. Who knows? Who knows? You never know. The power of the people. Absolutely. It, it can prevail. You can make changes. Taylor Swift has announced a release date for the re-recorded version of her album, Fearless. So it was recorded once, but then they, somebody got the rights to that. But then a new song, a new version of the song Love Story, which is an oldie but a goodie. I remember it because our kids used to watch it on the video, and it was Taylor Swift and a really young, attractive model. And they were maybe like two and four, and they'd go, Mommy, Daddy. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. No, no. <laughs> but they thank you. And thanks. Anyway, Love Story is coming out with a new version, I guess. Yeah, so she's uh, re-releasing some of her old stuff that got taken away from her due to a uh, sale to investors. So, um, you yeah, know. That, that she's really battled to own her intellectual property, so good for her. She's now going to release it and make sure that she benefits from it rather than the old record label. All right, how do you stop a cat from killing birds, mice, and other small animals? I don't think you do. Yes, there's a recent study out. It's a simple solution, according to the study. They, the cats, if you have to feed them, um, what do you got to feed them, Kara? Cat premium commercial food with proteins from meat saw a 36% reduction in numbers of prey animals brought home by cats. So if you're feeding them this kind of a premium commercial food. If they get meat at home in the dish, exactly, they don't want to bring it home. They won't want to bring it home. <laughs> oh, look at the good kitty. Oh, I just love the good kitties. But that's in their nature to do that. Yeah. I mean, we once had nature. a bird in our house. It didn't last long. It didn't? It did. No. Well, I was, I Found it right in the windowsill. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Little Angelo and uh, Serafina taking They're care like, of that They're like, ooh, toy. <laughs> and Kara, rejoice. <laughs> Grape nuts are back on the shelves. Hallelujah. They, well, they will be as of March, uh, the, the mid-March. The shortage. There was a shortage. Yeah. Scott couldn't have his grape nuts. It's terrible. And now to make up for all the trouble, for those who have been missing, Post is now offering a free grape nuts for a year contest. Yeah, and a dollar fifty off coupon if you go to their website to all the people. They've so been you, around since 1897. You know how much a box of grape nuts is? It's like four nineteen for one box of small grape nuts. It's made with wheat and barley. No grapes and no nuts. Why do they call it grape nuts? I guess because the the nuts inside of a grape, the seed inside of a grape resembles that. Is that why? For real? I, I don't know. Are you I'm, I'm this totally up? making this okay. up. But it <laughs> make, does make sense, though, right? <laughs> sure.